House Leader, third party. Uh, thank you, Honourable Speaker. The white bark pine tree was listed as endangered under the Federal Species at Risk Act, Risk Act in 2012. In 2017, the federal government released a proposed recovery strategy for the white bark pine in Canada. 42% of the global population of this species lives in BC. But since the species was listed as endangered, more than 19,000 cubic meters of the trees have been logged. In 2013, Lake Louise Ski Resort in Alberta logged a patch of trees that included just a few dozen white bark pine. The company was fined $2.1 million for what the judge called reckless behavior. But in BC, no fines, no restrictions, no guidelines for companies to avoid logging an endangered species, and 19,000 cubic meters logged. My question is for you, Honourable Speaker, to the Minister of Forest, Lands, Natural Resource Operations and Rural Development. How, in 2019, is his government allowing the continued logging of the white bark pine despite its endangered status? Minister of Forest, Lands, Natural Resources and Rural Development. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Honourable Speaker, and uh, I appreciate the question uh, from the member, and uh, I believe she has two aspects to that question, one uh, around public lands and one around private lands. And first of all, on public lands, our government is committed to conserving uh, BC's diverse biology, and that includes the white bark pine. It's a species that grows in upper subalpine elevations. It grows above the tree line. It has limited commercial value, and provincial practices specify this species is not to be logged. We are uh, working uh, with the federal government uh, for the implementation of a recovery plan, including a uh, rust-resistant screening program, because the major threat to uh, white bark pine is uh, blister rust. So we're planting seedlings that are resistant to that. We're working uh, with the Data Conservation Centre on pine mapping uh, technology as well. However, her question also brought up concerns, uh, I believe, around uh, logging on private managed forest lands. And uh, that uh, act has not been reviewed since it was first established in 2003. Uh, we heard concerns about uh, activities on private managed forest lands and that program, and so we initiated a review. Uh, that review was, was launched. It's now complete. We had 27 in-person sessions, received over 1,200 submissions, and we'll be releasing a What We Heard report, uh, Honourable Speaker, uh, uh, was released earlier this month. We'll be uh, engaging with local governments and First Nations to get uh, more feedback on that report and uh, implementing and our final report and uh, recommendations from that uh, in, in, the, in the new year. And that has to do, again, with uh, white bark pine. 